<laughs> All right, we built this model roof for you, for you, so you can learn how to how easy it is to do a roof, a flat roof. I'm going to show you all the common things that you find on a flat roof, how to do the flashing. Flashing is the most important part of a roof. So the flashing around the post, if you have a railing, you see the post there, flashing around the wall up here, the flashing underneath this door, that is super, super important if you have a door going out on a deck and so. Then also we're gonna do the flashing around this with a scupper where water drain out. I'm gonna show you how to do the drip edge. And then I built the skylight so you can see how to do the flashing around the skylight. And then I have a little roof here where it meets the shingle roof. I'm gonna show you how you can install, bring the membrane up and make a transition to the shingle roof. And then I'm gonna show you how to do a parapet wall that's different than a regular wall. All of these things is to help you save money or to go make money, but it's for women and for men. Anybody can do it. So that's the purpose of this video is to help you understand how to do roofing. When you have to repair, it will show you how to repair it. It will show you how to install a roof. Everything in this one, in this few videos we're gonna make. The only requirement really is you have to have a slanted roof otherwise it's not going to work so this roof is slightly pitched from from the top there down to this area all right so the the material we're going to use is called peel and stick system different companies make it um, in home depot i went there to price it for you i went to another company to price it for you and i'll show you the pricing I came to Lowe's to see if they have the roofing product. Don't waste your time. You're not going to find anything for a flat roof here. So we're going to go to Home Depot and see what they have. Home Depot sometimes sells the, the, the peel and stick. It says SBS, SBS at self-adhering cap sheet. Okay. But you also need the base. So they don't have a base here. But that's the cap sheet. It goes for $125. But I don't see the base. So I went to Home Depot and Lowe's. Just showed you the video. And I couldn't find, really, they don't, they're not a, a roofing company. So you go to a roofing supply. And the ones I recommend is ABC Building Supply or Beacon. they all across the country. And Beacon, you see, yes, Beacon building uh, products i asked them for a quote and they gave me a quote on two of them is two is 123 dollars a roll Each one. so together it's 390 dollars uh, 400 dollars really that's what the material costs plus okay plus uh plus this uh i built i bought a uh, uh asphalt primer and that's 20 dollars and then a few roofing nails and then a drip edges. I had the drip edges here. All right, so you see the pricing and that's the material we're gonna use. It can be any brand, it doesn't matter what brand you are. But let me show you how to do it. So first of all, the rolls are very heavy. They're 110 pounds a roll. To carry it up a ladder is almost impossible. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna show you how easy it is to do it, to bring the material up to the roof. So first of all, you wanna measure the width of the roof, 148 inches. So at least I want to get it 148 inches. I'm using Top Shield Pro, but that's not any brand. I don't care what brand you're going to use. If you can use Liberty, you can use a Mule Hide. There are so many that you can use. So I roll it up. You bring it up. And you start at the bottom. Before you start, you have to remove the railing, the post jacket, the siding, and the door. So that's what I'm going to do now. We remove the door. The reason is, if you don't remove the door, you cannot. The water would leak in here. Ah. Oh. 
okay. So we're gonna show how to do this flashing around the door. Okay. So if water, if the wind blows, water cannot get into the house. Wow. I'm gonna roll it out. It doesn't have to be exact. You can, you have a lot of margin for error, but just for the purpose, I cut it there like this uh, okay and then I'm gonna cut in that corner up like that just like that see that that's my base so now it's lying flat Papi, excuse me you have a hole right there in the, the... yeah yeah it's okay. okay and then I have to cut out for the scupper here. See a scupper? Right there. Like that. Now, I'm going to remove the base here. Right now, it's not very hot outside. So, this base is not going to stick too much to the plywood. But if it gets hot, you will not be able to peel it off. Base is bubbled up, so four sticks. Okay, now okay, I got it. Is remove the other half of the plastic. Roll this back, and I want to show you what to do here. This is important. So I'm going to roll it back like that, halfway. All right, and I'm going to peel the plastic off. I'm going to peel this back. The other half is already stuck down to the plywood. And look at this. This got top part. Okay, there you go. You move this. Just roll it like this. Roll it slightly. See that? And I push it down here. This is nice and flat now. Okay. Look at that. Here's the important part. I don't have a can strip like a triangle strip here to take the angle. I don't think it's necessary, but you want to push this right in the corner there. See that? Very tight. See that? Look how nice that is. Beautiful. And I do the same here. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Little bit of plastic in a corner. Expecting rain tonight, but this is how you start your your base. You roll it out a little bit up the wall, and your first base is started. Now I'm going to add the rest to the roof. You put your next line of uh, base overlapping. You see how the, this is called a three inch lap? There's a two inch lap and there's a three inch lap. And you overlap it like that. That's all you do. I cut it the right length almost. And then you remove your base. You can do this in 10, 20 minutes, entire roof. Like that. And you peel it off. Just like that. This is very easy. Very easy. All right. What a mistake. That's me. So last yesterday we made a video on showing you how we do the base, and I said ah, it's not gonna rain. It didn't look like it. An hour after we got off the roof, it was dark and it rained. But here's the bad thing. Yes, here's, here's, here's what's bad. I have a tarp hanging, ready to pull over the roof. I did not. Stupid. That's what I am. All right. Now we have more work to do. Let me show you. Big problem. I did not cover the edge of this um, plywood. See here? I should have taken the membrane over. 
so it's wet it's, it's soaking it there and there a little bit but this is not the worst part here's the worst part the scupper if you look closely I did not do anything here in the corner see there it's all wet Ay, yikes that's horrible so I'm gonna have to dry this up before we can do the the rest all right good enough hmm. unbelievable I'll see you after the rain it's getting I'm getting wet That's it. Ah, she's mad because I made this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> By the way, I was in Home Depot yesterday looking for a trowel. All right, we're at Home Depot. Came to look for a trowel, the round nose trowel. I don't see it. But normally, if you want to come and look for it, it would be in this section, the round nose trowel. You have to get the round nose out, the bull nose, okay? The trowels I like to use is these. Very hard to gauge. It's called a gauging trowel. See there? G-force gauging trowel. Get yourself a gauging trowel before you start doing any roofing, okay? Or this, this is, this, it, it doesn't puncture the roof and it's easy to do tar and anything detail, okay? What I'm doing is, so I'm gonna, this section of wall, I'm going to leave the siding on, assuming you have an existing siding and flashing, so you don't want to take it down, or you cannot take it down, or you have an existing roof, and you want to go over the existing roof, and this only this part of the flashing is exposed. What do you do then? And that's what I'm going to show you, how to install a roof with that scenario, okay? I got my base, this is a base sheet, now I'm going to put the cap sheet, alright? But before you can put the cap sheet, you have to put drippage. A very important part of roofing is the drippage. And I, I will show you an example in Home Depot what you should not buy. You, this is heavy gauge drippage, aluminum drippage and it's a heavy gauge I think it's 32 whatever you buy those flimsy things at Home Depot you're gonna be sorry so go to a roofing supply place and get yourself heavy gauge drippage okay so if you come to Home Depot you want to get yourself a drippage you can get yourself this one not too bad the flat and it's not too flimsy you can see that very very nice this profile let's see what else is here um, this is very very flimsy I can bend it like this see nothing uh, you want to get the thicker one that's a good one for right here all right in this area so I need to mark where I want to cut it you see the corner there there's the corner right there so I'm gonna cut it right there. All right, so what you do is you cut yourself a V. That's a mark I have, right? And I'm gonna cut it to the V like this, right to there and a V this way. So I'm cutting this tab out and then right across from this point there, I want to cut that lip there, just like that. See that? So when you fold it, watch this. When you fold it like this, it can open up and look. And they fold over each other, look. See this? This is now very, very, very nice, okay? So you put that in a corner like that. And now I have a different problem post is really close to here so I need to to cut this away from the post here so I'm gonna cut right like that you need to cut it short 
just like that. Okay. I don't want it any overhang. So that's it. Okay. So this is how you do it. Is it talking? Uh, I don't think so. All right. So I put this over and voila. Over the... It's over the... Over the base. Underneath the cap sheet. You don't want to... All right. Okay, I'll be very nice. But if you know what you're doing, it's very easy. <laughs> Roof. You you not be afraid to do it, no? Because no. that that is a problem when you don't know. That's you're afraid it. to do it. Yeah. But when you understand, yeah. that's okay. This is so easy. Easy, easy. Very easy. No, everybody can do that. Yeah. You have to remove the plastic off of the drippage, otherwise it's gonna be horrible. This is a protective plastic they have on the drippage. So it doesn't get scratched. Ideally, you want at least six inches overlap. I only got about three inches there, but that's okay. So ideally, you want six inches overlap when you overlap. This is the, the second step after the... After you put the base down, you have to put the, the drippage. Drippage, okay. So, cap sheet. I'm going to cut, get the plastic off, 50, right here, okay. Take the hook, the hook blade, when I do it, I lift, you can see I lift up on the membrane so I don't cut underneath if I work on another roof or something, I lift up on it. Top of the other roof, yeah, but so you know how to. You don't want to do that. You see, yeah. I barely touched it. Uh -huh. Okay, so I got my wife. Yeah, I love this. to. I love more to do this than cooking. <laughs> I hate cooking. <laughs> hey guys, I hate cooking, okay? So. <laughs> she, listen. Yeah. She makes the best food. Mexi. <laughs> I, she, she, when we got married, she said she cannot cook. And I believed her. <laughs> For six months, she never cooked. <laughs> A liar. <laughs> she is an excellent cook. But yeah, I like this job better. She makes a Napolitano pizza. <laughs> I'll actually show you when she makes a Napolitano pizza. Okay, just to be tight. That is one example if somebody already has the flash. If yeah. they have the flashing, they could. They, there may be some roofing over this already. So okay. this is just in case they have it. You give it a how to do it. Uh, how to do it when you have existing flashing. So I'm gonna put, roll this thing over like this. And I'm gonna bring it this all the way, just like that. Okay. So I'm looking at these marks with my membrane so I keep it parallel. All right, there you go. Oh, I see. So now roll it out into this corner. You see? Yeah. This is going up here. Yeah. At least six inches. And it's going up here six inches. And I get it into this corner. Now, here's the, the problem here. You have to get sort of cut right in that corner. Cut up. Right in that corner. Just like that. And then you can fold it into each other like that. Look how beautiful that is. See? Okay. So this membrane, I want to cut it right at a corner there. Like that. Okay, let's say you have flashing there. See the flashing there? And you, you bring your membrane right to the to the very corner there, like that. Okay? I'm going to show you how to do the flashing there. And then I'm going to show you how to do the flashing where you don't, where you can remove the siding in this case. Okay? So, when you have a door, door sill, you need to cut it right to where the door sill, right like that. 
see that? Okay. The most important part, how to make these transitions, okay? And that's what we're gonna do now. Just flat. <clears throat> Just like that. Okay. So you can see I cut the membrane, not even nice and it's not very precise. So it doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you how to do, how to make it work. Okay. You need a very sharp blade when you do this. You're gonna cut this membrane short, right onto the metal there. So you, you slide the blade onto the metal edging. Okay, right like that, like that. Look, see that? Mm -hmm. See that? You slide it right on the metal edging. You use the metal, look how nice it well, is. Oh, nice. So you have to get yourself a asphalt primer. Um, I bought this at the roofing supply place, but you can get it different types, but you need an asphalt primer, okay? So when you, whenever you want to um, stick it to the metal edging, you need to prime the metal first. Okay. Have only the bottom where it's going to stick, okay? Let it, let it dry a little bit. Okay, hold it here. And then prime this. Okay, just like that. What do you say? Asphalt primer. Oh, this side. And dry fast. It has to get dry. Okay, okay. let's wait a little bit. So, first of all, I release the plastic off of the back. Okay. You can see this is barely coming up now. This thing is sticking. This thing is sticking. All right. Roll this down. And this is sticky, look, look. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. It sticks. It sticks more to this. And it gets hot now where the sun is gonna stick very well. So you, do, you cannot make mistakes. But I know this part is held in. Look, it's already stuck. You cannot get it out, okay? You can barely get it out. So that's why this is not moving. So now I've cut it in position and I'm laying it in everywhere. Just like that, you see that? So I, uh, you can use a roller. You wanna give me a roller here? Could use a roller or just your pressure of your hand. But this is a roller for uh, TPO and EPDM. You can do that, so you make sure it's tight. But I want, this is very essential to get it in that corner. So you wanna roll in and, and may bring it to the corner, right to the corner. See? See there? Right in the corner, like that. Right in the corner, not right in the corner. Okay, right, tight, tight in like this, look. I'm folding it in like this, and I'm putting it tight in that corner, see? T at the bottom. And the same here. Tight, 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 very tight. Very tight, at the bottom. Okay. I put this one in that corner, like that. And it's up corner there. And I put this up there, like that. Okay, now, remember there's a hole there now, right in the bottom, there's a, there's a hole there. So, this, and it's not necess necessity. I like to heat it up a little bit like this. All right, I heat it up like that, and I, I apply it to the wall like that. Look at it, beautiful. Same thing? I'm going there right there. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. And look at it. Very tight. I get it on. Look. See? That's the idea. I'm going to put this membrane here. Line it up. 
like that like that three inch see the strip there and uh, make sure you got it right there with the overlap pieces three inches okay what I do is I remove the top one first All right, remove it. You want to remove this together with this, not separately. But you cannot make mistakes. So once it, once you remove it, you cannot come back. It's gonna start sticky. Okay, so watch. That's it. Ay, 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 look, already a problem. The plastic didn't, it, it didn't come off. They break easy. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Look at that plastic. Yeah. Okay. Then you apply pressure on it by walking on a seam just like that. Or with a roller. You can do it with a roller or you can do it with your foot. This is better because it's, you have more weight. When it comes to where you overlap, so this this stopped right here, halfway in a, on a roof, you have to now make an overlap. So you need to make it at least like 80, uh, 12 inches overlap. Don't go too short. Let me cut this. And I want to show you something. Move the paper, but I like to do something extra to show you. I like to heat up the seams. It makes it for a better, better adhesion. Watch. So it's already sticking. It won't stick. Let me explain. It will stick. It's not like it's not going to stick. This is going to stick very well and might not leak, but it's not hot today and maybe you do it in a colder time if you apply heat this will really adhere to each other so what I'm doing is I'm heating this up all right do the seams on a peel and stick at Harbor Freight let me show you torch maybe you get this yeah this is a good torch to get at Harbor Freight okay $27 and you can do your own roof at Harbor Freight. Or you can order it online. I'll show you. I'll, I'll leave a link on the line. On, on the yeah. $27 and $37. You see there, look. Okay, that's what I like to do. And you, you press it down. You can see it wants to, it's very soft now. But that way, I know I have a good seal. I wanna show you how to trim this off when it overhangs a little bit like this. See, you, you, you take your straight blade, uh, this one, take your straight blade, and put it right against the metal there and, and slide it against the metal like that see how you do it that gives you a very nice clean cut against the drip edge okay so very nice put it against the metal and slide it down like that i want to show you how to do um the transition from this uh, stick down, you, we we stuck it down with a, a on a primer. You can see we cannot lift it up. It's almost almost impossible to get this up. It's stuck. But I am not. I cannot trust that seal, hundred percent. So I want to show you how to make it a very good seal. So you don't ever have to have a leak because if you leave it like that, it could leak. And then, so I'm gonna put my tape here 
let's say I put it down there. Just like that. Just like that to make it look nice. If you didn't remove the siding and you have flashing and you want to make a transition with the roof to that. Okay, this is what I do. I'll show you. I use turbo poly seal and you got to mix it because if it stands for a long time the urethane and the asphalt resins they separate. Look it gets like a brown color. See that? Brown consistency. And very simple. I paint it right underneath there into the corner like that. See there? And you can see there's an opening right there. Water would get in there. See there? Okay. Let's say you want to do the flashing on this post. Let's say there's some wood there. You didn't flash, okay? So I'll do the same on this case, right there. Cover that wood there, around the corner. Double poly, the fleece. Here's the fleece, okay? This polyester fabric has a special uh, softness to it. It's not just any polyester, but and I cut the length for me like this now this comes four inches wide so I'm gonna just make it two inches wide so I'm gonna cut it down down the middle I'm just gonna cut it down the middle like that okay so I got a two inch strip instead of a four inch strip and this is what I like. Put it here, right there, just like that. In the corner, like that. Going up the flashing and on the membrane, just like that. You see that? And in that corner they look. So I'm covering that, I'm covering that. This is super, super, super nice. Easy to do. If you have this type of flashing that you need to take care all right and then cut that corner go around the corner like that you can see what I did there and then I paint the turbo again over the fleece because that's what makes the strength that fleece very very important and Okay. It can rain and still. It can rain within an hour after you did it. So nice. It's pretty good. And then I'll do the other side. The same thing. Oh, I need to put some over that fleece there, you know. When you go over another transition like that. See that? And you put it over the fleece. Just like that. Look. Beautiful. Cut this to make to make the corner. Just like that. Look, beautiful. This is the unbelievable product. I do all my flashing with this everywhere. I never have to worry about leaks anymore because of material not working or transitions. Look at it. That's it. And then you remove the tape, just like that. And voila, the flashing, the flashing is done. All right, you can see, you can see the flashing now, the, the material is behind the siding here. See there, sandwich between the siding and the wall there. Here's a very important tip. Pull this. Here's a very important tip. The siding should never touch the roof. Very, very, very important. Always siding should be an inch and a half to two inches above the roof. You don't want water to soak into this bottom of the siding. 
and if this siding is too low water will soak in and the siding will rot you cannot do that okay wow i didn't know i didn't know it and this is the scupper that we still have to flash in here's a scupper the scupper here i want to show you a special way to do the scupper all right here's the scupper and i'm going to show you how to do that scupper all right so this roof is this comp this completes now how this roof is installed the material and we did some flashing and i showed you how to do flashing here but very important and on the next video which i'm going to post right here is the next part of the face of this roof and that is the flashing underneath this door the flashing around the skylight here you see the skylight how we come up the curb and how we take care of this to flash around a bathroom vent uh, how to bring it up to the shingles a transition and a parapet wall and i'm going to do the around the post here very important so watch the next video so you can see how all this detail is done. That will help you to repair a roof or to install any roof or do flashing. See you on the next video. So we'll see you on the next video. My wife yeah. and I, she does the videos. So watch the other video.